thing all over again. Spirit says, growth, gain energy, choose powers, okay? So I'm going to go a little bit faster now that I've uh, kind of explained it to you. I hope you guys can, uh, can understand I'll, uh, what's uh, going to happen since I'm going a bit faster, okay? So I know they are going to ravage the jungle and build on the sands. What can I do to prevent it? Pretty much nothing. Okay. I think I want to go with this growth right now. I want to reclaim my cards. Okay, I'm going to reclaim these two. I'm going to gain one energy. Okay, one energy. And I'm going to gain one power card. Now, when you gain power cards, you can choose if you want a major power or a minor power. Okay, minor powers are usually cheaper uh, to play and uh, major powers are more expensive, but way, way better. There's another caveat here. Minor, if you choose a minor power to keep, that's just one card you're adding to your hand. But if you choose a major power, you have to discard one of the cards in your hand. So you have to replace uh, one of your cards with the major power. Minor powers are just added, are just more tools you add to your arsenal of spiritual mayhem. So right now I just want to choose a minor power. So how do you do that? You draw four cards. And you can choose one of these four to keep. Okay, so let's take a look here. So what did we draw? So you want to um, look at both the, the power, what it does, and also the elements it gives you. F because my, my spirits, I want yellow and blue stuff, which, I mean, this card is already, seems already great. Don't mind this card, it has a little printing error, This it, it costs one, uh, it, they forgot to print uh, the little color here, it, it also represents how if it's a slow card, which means it's a blue, or if it's a fast stacking power, which would be red, this should have a blue ring here, it doesn't have it, but never mind that. Okay, so what do I want here? Okay, this allows me to defend my lands, so if there was going to be a ravage, now I can defend that land and no damage is going to be done. Okay, I love this. I really like this. Okay, this is right now <laughs> looking very nice. If target land has an explorer, I push all the explorers from out of there. Otherwise, I can remove one blight. But it can only be done on either mountains or jungles. So, not a great option. And then, gnawing root biters. I can push up to two uh, towns. Okay, and steam vents. I can destroy one explorer. Okay, I like this one. If I had three of these elemental symbols, I could destroy a town. Huh. Well, I, I have a way to destroy them. I have that card that deals one damage. I pay two, that's that's true, but hmm. This is great. This is a great engine to stop them from, from building. I do like this to be honest. Okay, so these two, no way, I'm not picking one of these two. It's between one of these. Hmm. So the defend card would allow me to actually save this jungle on this turn. I'm, I'm a huge fan of defend cards. Um, what this does is instead they, they don't deal any damage. So they would be dealing three damage here. They won't deal any damage. And then the Dahan, the what, what are they used for? The Han, they fight back. Every time an attackers, they attack, they ravage a land. If any uh, surviving Dahan are there, they fight back, they deal damage back. So each Dahan has two, uh, has, no, sorry, has one HP, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. Um, but they, um, if they're alive, they deal back two damage, okay? So if I defend here, no, the Han will die because all the damage was prevented. And then they are going to fight back with one, two, three, four um, power. So they would destroy all of these explorers. This would be great. I'm a big fan of the fan cards. But I'm also a big fan of this one. With this card, I could definitely be preventing a lot of building actions. Okay, this is, yeah. I know there's more defense cards than there are the ones to destroy. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go with... 
I am going to go with, I mean, yeah, this one has that little bonus that I could remove one blight from the board if I have two blue uh, elements, which I most certain, certainly will have. So this is also a blight removal tool. And that's why I think I'm going to take it. Okay, because I can use both of its effects. Okay, so my new power is chosen. Now I just add it into my hand and I can play it right ahead, uh, right away if I want to, okay? So my growth is done. Now I gain energy. I'm gaining two more energy. Okay, one, two. And um, yeah, now I choose my powers. Okay, so <laughs> we'll be using this right away to defend uh, that land that is going to get ravaged. And I am also going to play this again. Because I want to prevent that build. Okay. Okay. I can only play two cards. So that's that's it. That's all the cards I'm playing. So they are both uh, fast acting powers. Okay. So let's go with this one first. Uh, this is a defend six. And it, I have to do it one space away from a sacred site of mine. So I have that sacred site. So it's one space away. So how I, what I like to do to remind myself is I place this, uh, this symbol here, this token here, and then I place it here. So I know I'm defending with this card in that area. Okay. And then this one, I deal one damage. If target land is a coastal, I deal one more damage. By the way, coastal means all the lands that are adjacent to the, the ocean. So this it would be this one, this one, and this one. I'm doing it right here, okay? It's uh, one distance away from where I am, doesn't matter. Uh, no, sorry, I'm doing it right here. It's actually, <laughs> sorry, it's one space away from here, okay? So I can do it. I deal, it, deal two damage, but uh, there's only one explorer there, so one damage would be enough. So yeah, he's dead, okay? And that was my power. Um, usage i just flip it around just to uh, mark that i've used them that's three energy okay that is gone and i have these elements so one yellow one blue which means i can't do any of my innate powers so that won't work all right so our turn is done now the uh, the invader phase so let's see how the island will change so blighted island um, step there's no uh, the island isn't blighted yet so we skip that fear phase there's no uh, fear cards yet so we're going to go through these three actions here so ravage on the jungle um, jungle lands okay so a ravage will occur here this is there's only one explorer here so the the small explorers they have one hp remember and they deal one damage so one damage does not produce blight you have to do they have to deal at least two damage to produce a blight so all they are doing to this land is giving it one damage which does absolutely nothing um remember it doesn't kill the the hans either because they have two hp so um yeah i checked that so they deal one damage nothing happens the the huns they fight back and they deal six damage so two per the hun so this guy is toasted completely he is gone and here um the ravage is occurring as well there's a total of three damage being dealt so one from this guy and two from uh, two damage from this little uh, the small town so it's a total of three damage but remember I had I used the card that defended for six. Okay, so three damage being dealt, although I defended six, so no damage to this land. And now the Han will fight back with one, two, three, four damage. So four damage back to the, the to the um, the explorers, uh, the invaders. Um, sorry. So they had a total of three health, so they both die. Every time you, you destroy one of these, so they just uh, go away, nothing happens. But when you destroy the small town, remember, you add one fear from the fear pool to the generated fear. Okay, so now we have one fear in there. We're building up to create uh, more fear and be able to use fear cards. Okay, so that was the uh, ravage phase. Now, onto the build. They will build in the sands, but there's no... Uh, invaders in the sand area okay remember we removed that guy from there 
so they couldn't um, build. So we're pretty looking pretty good here on the island. Let me remove this. We're looking pretty good. We only have two cons two buildings right now. Okay, so let's. But they are going to explore in this phase as well. So they explore in the mountains. So every mountain area that has a building adjacent is going to get an explorer. So this mountain has a building there. So there you go, one explorer here. And that second mountain has a building right there. It has to be adjacent or in the same space. So they were able to uh, explore both of the land um, types. So now after the explorer, we move everything onto the left. So we push everything to the left. So next turn, they are going to ravage in the sands where we, there are no uh, invaders. So we're good there. We don't need to prevent uh, any damage, but they will build in the mountains. And if we can do something about that, that's going to be awesome. Okay, so now it's the uh, slow power uh, phase. We didn't play any small, uh, slow power and we don't have enough elements to activate our slow innate powers so time will pass will simply pass these get discarded they go here okay and uh now it's our um our turn again it's the spirit phase where where we will choose growth okay so looking at this so the board is pretty safe right now it's looking pretty good so I think I will again put two presents on the board I want to clear uh, these tokens as fast as possible and I think I want to remove uh, hmm so my cards have very low cost and I think I just so so two energy uh, is more than enough so I will remove both from here so I can play three cards now per turn okay and where do I want to put them Okay, I want to put one here, okay, and that's because my The Hunt card uh, allows me to gather, but uh, it's a range zero, so I want to be spread out as much as possible in order to gather the The Hunt where I need to, and I guess, I think I will just do a sacred site. Here, I'll put myself here. So now I have three sacred sites. One here, one here, because these are wetlands and that's our special power. We only need one presence. And right here, because we have two presents. Um, the game, uh, uh, by the way, th this is just something personal. I do, the, the game usually says to stack these up, but um, they're not. it's not really, you can't see it that well that there's two presents there. So I just put them like this. It's easier for me to um, to spot my uh, sacred sites. Okay, so that was my growth. Now I'm getting two energy, okay, from my energy per turn. And now I can play three cards, okay? So these are my cards. I think that next turn I will do a reclaim, okay? So since I'm doing that, I'll get, I will get them all back. So I think I'll just play all three of these. Mm -hmm. And what this will allow me to do is get my second innate power bonus, which is two uh, yellow uh, yellow elements and two blue, uh, three blue elements. And yeah, there's two, and then there's the three blues. So if I play all of these, which I will, this will cost me zero, and it's a fast one. This will cost me zero, and this will cost me one. So I'm only spending one energy for this one, and I'll be getting a lot of good stuff. Okay, so those are my my powers. I've chosen them, and now let's uh, let's play them out. So this is a fast one. I'm doing it on myself because I'm I'm playing only one spirit. If you target yourself, gain one energy. So we're getting one energy. If you target another spirit, then gain one energy energy per power card they played this turn. So that that's not going to happen. We only got one energy, but it also allowed us to get those two elements, the yellow and the blue one. Okay, so that was the only uh, fast acting power that I played this turn. Uh, so now it's the, the invader phase. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, so blighted island. There's no blight on the island. 
uh, fear, there's no fear, uh, and now they ravage. So ravage the sands, there are no invaders on the sands, so nothing happens. Now they build in the mountains, okay? So they successfully built. Now remember the rules, you always put a small one, unless there's uh, more smaller ones than big ones. So here there's a big one already, so we put a smaller one, okay? This is actually built and now they will explore. And they explore coastal lands. Okay, what is coastal lands? So that is all, if you remember, we used the card before, it's all the lands that are adjacent to the ocean. So that's a bummer because they are going to explore in every single one of them because every single one of them either has a building or is adjacent to a building. So. This is a lot of explorers coming in right now. Okay. Okay, so that wasn't good. That wasn't good. And yeah, that's it. That's it for the invaders. Now we advance these. Okay. So this is going to be a problem because they're going to ravage in the mountains and then they're going to build on all three coastal lands if they can. Okay. So now we go for our slow powers, which thankfully will help us prevent some of the stuff that's going to happen next turn. Okay, so we can choose whichever order we want to, okay? So we can push up to three explorers, okay? That's one of the things we can do. We can gather the Han to the Han to one of the territories. If there's at least two the Han there, we add one more and get one energy. And we have this one. We unlock this one because we have two yellow and three blue elements. So instead of doing this, we can do two damage and push up to three explorers. So this one is awesome. So I think I will be doing this one. Now the question is, where do I want to do it? Because there's a few, um, few territories in danger right now. Okay. So... I think I will be hmm I think I will be doing the two damage uh, okay I have to do this one space away from a sacred site okay so I think I I'm good there on that one the the one with a lot of uh, a lot of invaders because I have that defense six cards and I oops sorry and I will be able to use it there so I'm I'm think I'm safe right there so what I'm not where I, I I'm not safe here. So I think that I will actually give two damage to so this is one space away from this sacred site, okay? So two damage here to this. So that generates one fear. There you go. And I can also push, remember? I can deal two damage and I can push up to three uh, of the small guys and I'm going to push him away from here. Because I don't want him ravaging uh, this land and I'll push him right here. Okay. If he happens to ravage the jungle, he will get damage back eventually. Okay. So this mountain is safe. Next turn. Okay. So that was my innate power. Now we can do these two cards. Um, let me do this one first. I will gather up to the Han. If there are at least two the Han, then on that territory, I will create one more and get one energy. So I'm using it right on that territory, okay? Remember, it's a range zero. I placed the presence there. So I will gather the Han from here and I will put them right here, okay? Okay, if there's at least two the Han, there are two the Hans there. I get one more and I get one energy. So one more energy there, okay? And so this one, just used it and now I can use this one we can push up to three invaders or one small town okay I want to do this uh, in a coastal area because I want to, to prevent them building there um, so where do where would I rather prevent them from doing stuff hmm either the sands or the wetlands. I think I'm going to go for the wetlands. I'm going to push them away from here. Now, let me do some math here. I'm going to defend six damage. So right now there's three, four, five, six, seven damage being dealt. 
So that's the maximum I want being dealt on this territory, because remember, I can defend six. One is going through, and, but one damage will do nothing to the land, so that's fine. So I don't want to push this here, because then I would need to defend more. So I'm just going to push this guy. Huh, where am I pushing him to? I don't want to spread him too much. So I think, hmm. Do I want to put him right there, near this town? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Hmm. So hard one. Let me let me take a look at the at the cards I have. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm just going to concentrate them on the same territory. If eventually something happens there, maybe I can get those Dahan in there and have them um, kill those guys okay so my cards are done okay slow powers are done so this turn is over uh, now if you remember correctly we had used all of our cards uh, all of them are discarded so it's our uh, our phase again our spirit phase so we have to do this growth here that allows us to reclaim all of our cards back and we are getting one power card and one energy, okay? So, since we have quite a bit of energy, uh, I think we're good to go for a major power. They usually cost uh, quite a bit more than the ones and zeros you're, you're, you're accustomed to see in this playthrough. They usually cost like four, five, six. But since we have so much energy, I think we're good to go for one of these. So, it, uh, it's exactly the same as the uh, minor powers. We draw four. And we choose one to keep. Now the difference is that in major powers they um, they replace one of the cards in our hand, so we will have to discard one of our cards. But um, yeah, we'll hopefully get something that is really really good. So ta let's take a look at them. Um, so this costs five. Blazing renewal. It's a fast uh, acting power. A target spirit, which is going to be me, places two of their destroyed uh, presence in a single land up to two distance away from your presence. If anyone, if any presence was restored, uh, returned, two damage to each building in that land. So we have no destroyed presence right now, so this is really uh, pretty much useless. So this one, uh, it costs five. It has the elements that we need, so it's, um, it's looking good. Cleansing floods. It's a fast, uh, fast uh, so sorry, a slow power. You have to do it a distance away from a wetlands with my presence, okay? And it deals four damage and removes one blight. If you happen to have four blue plus 10 damage. Wow. Well, this is pretty good. Cleansing floods, yeah. It's it's very thematic with our spirits as well. So it, it seems very, very nice for, the, for our spirit. So that is a great possibility. Next, terrifying nightmares. It costs four. It's a fast acting power. I like those. Um, hmm, two fear and it pushes up to four explorers or towns. If you happen to have four moon uh, elements plus four fear. Now we can't generate this uh, this this moon element. We don't. I don't think we have any to be honest. Nope. So mm, it's far worse than the other one. And uh, entwined power. Okay, you and target spirit may use each other's presence to target powers. Okay, so this is pretty crappy for a solo playthrough. So we're going with this cleansing floods. Okay, so since we are picking a major power, we have to discard one of the cards in our hand. Okay, uh, I think I'm just discarding this one. The elements are pretty much the same. If you target yourself, gain one energy. This is basically an energy gaining. It gives us one energy and some useful elements. I mean, it's good, but kind of pointless for now. This will be much, much better. Okay, so our powers are set. Okay, uh, and we're good to go. Now, growth has been completed. Now we get our energy. Uh, we get uh, two. Let me just put this three and remove one. Okay. And now we choose our powers. Okay, so if you remember, we're going to have a ravage on the mountains and then we are going to have build actions on coastal lands. 
So this mountain is going to get highly ravaged, but we have a defend card here, so we're good. Uh, and then they are going to build um, on both of these lands, okay? So I would love to remove this explorer. And well, ravage occurs first. So if I defend, let me see. If I defend here, then I'm giving uh, six damage back. Three, four, five, six. So there's going to be one explorer left alive and he will be able to build, which is a bummer, but I don't think I can prevent it from happening. So yeah, that's going to happen for sure. Oh well. Anyway, so we have to play this. Defend six. This definitely has to be played. Okay, so that's one right there. And uh, what else do I want to play right now? So, I mean, cleansing floods, although it's great, it's not going to be super useful because everything is going to get pretty wrecked from my defense. So I think I'm going to go with, um, hmm. I'm going to go with these flash floods. Okay. So that's three energy and I can play one more card. So one more card. I think I'm going to go with, huh. Now I know they will explore as well. Let me check my elements. Okay. I, huh. I, if I do one more blue, I can uh, use my innate. Okay, but if I use this, no, I don't have three blues, so this is kind of a waste. Hmm, do I want to play something else? I could play this just to get some energy or play this one uh, just for preemptively moving around uh, the ones that the, the explorers that are going to pop up from, from the explore action. Hmm. Or I could just save up because I'm wasting a lot of cards here. Uh, okay, now I, I think I'm actually going to play everything. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one, I think. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go with this one. Or am I? No, I'm gonna go with this one. Yep, yeah. let's go with this. Okay, so I've chosen my powers. So I uh, two one one. So that's four energy. That's going to be spent here. Um, okay, so now the fast acting powers. So this one is slow. These are both. Fa oh, sorry, I had already paid that one. So this one here, and uh, let me just do it like this. Sorry, this. Okay, so. Three energy for my fast acting powers. Okay, so I'm paying that up. I will defend six, up to one space from a um, a sacred site. So I'm defending six right there. Okay, I'm going to leave this token here and this token right here. And now I'm doing this one. Oh, by the way, uh, I can instead remove one blight. No, I don't want to. And I'm doing flash floods. Uh, I'm doing one damage. If it's a coastal, it's two damage. Um, I just want to damage this guy right here to prevent him from building. Okay, so that's done. That's done as well. Okay. This one is a slow acting one, so I'll do it later on uh, along with my uh, innate powers. Okay, so. Next up is the invader phase. 